the square academic cap, graduate cap, cap, mortarboard or Oxford cap, is an item of academic headdress consisting of a horizontal square board fixed upon a skull cap, with a tassel attached to the centre. In the UK and the US, it is commonly referred to informally in conjunction with an academic gown worn as a cap and gown. It is also sometimes termed a square, trencher, or corner cap. The adjective academical is also used. The cap, together with the gown and a hood, now form the customary uniform of a university graduate, in many parts of the world, following a British model. Origins The mortarboard is generally believed by scholars to have developed from the beretta, a similar looking hat worn by Roman Catholic clergy. The beretta itself may have been a development of the Roman pileus quadratus, a type of skull cap with superposed square and tump. A reinvention of this type of cap is known as the Bishop Andrews cap. The Italian beretta is a word derived from barretto, which is derived itself from the Latin birus and the Greek pyros, both meaning red. The cone shaped red beretta, related to the ancient Etruscan tutulus and the Roman pileus, was used in the 14th and 15th centuries to identify humanists, students, artists, and learned and blooming youth in general. The shape and the color conveyed meaning. Red was considered for a long time the royal power, whether because it was difficult to afford vestments of such solid and brilliant dye or because the high symbolic meaning of blood and life, thus the power over life and death. It is not casual that the carpo headwear is found with such frequency in Renaissance paintings as the highly famous one by Piero della Francesca of Federico da Montefeltro with his red cap. Campano wrote about these hats in his life of Nicola squared for Tebruxio. He used to wear a red and high hat, the higher from the head the wider it became. Federico and Nicholas Squared were condottery. The same cap is seen on Bartolomeo Colonni, commander of the Venetian armies in 1454, on the Duke Ludovico III Gornzaca and on John Hawkwood in his equestrian monument by Paolo Urcello. This cap is worn by the leading Italian nobles at the end of the 15th century became a symbol of their military and civil powers over Italian cities at a time when the whole of Europe was going to be deeply transformed by Italian influences. It was originally reserved for holders of master's degrees but was later adopted by bachelors and undergraduates. In the 16th and 17th centuries corner cap was the term used. Origins of the most commonly found mortarboard in the United States can be traced to a patent that was filed by an inventor Edward O'Reilly and Catholic priest, Joseph Durham who filed their patent in 1950. Their invention and subsequent patent was the result of his idea to incorporate a fiberglass stiffener into the mortarboard thus making it more sturdy. Such mortarboards are very commonplace throughout the world today. Variants Doctorate holders of some universities wear the mortarboard, although the round Tudor bonnet is more common in Britain. The four, six, or eight cornered tam is gaining popularity in the US, and in general a soft square tam has some acceptance for women as a substitute for the hard square. In the US, the mortarboard is also worn by high school pupils during the presentation of their diplomas. Tassel In US graduation ceremonies, the side on which the tassel hangs can be important. Sometimes it is consistent among all students throughout the ceremony, in other cases it differs based on level of study with undergraduate students wearing the tassel on the right, and graduate student wearing them on the left. In some ceremonies, the student wears the tassel on one side until reception of the diploma. Then it is switched to the other. At the secondary school level, the tassel is usually either the school's primary color or a mix of the school's colors with as many as three colors in a tassel. Sometimes a tassel of a distinctive color, such as gold, is worn by those graduating with Latin honors or on the honor roll. Universities in the United States might use tassels in black or the school's colors, usually for higher degrees. For bachelor's degrees the tassel may be colored differently from the traditional black or school colors to represent the field in which the wearer obtained his or her education. In 1896 most colleges and universities in the United States adopted a uniform code governing academic dress. The tassel may be adorned with a charm in the shape of the digits of the year. However, strictly speaking, the American Council on Education Code states that the tassel should be black or the color appropriate to the subject, and only makes an exception for the gold tassel. 
the gold metallic tassel is reserved for those entitled to wear the doctoral gown, as is the use of velvet for headwear. Only one tassel is worn at a time. For schools where the graduation regalia is rented or borrowed by the student, the tassel might be a part of the rental or provided separately. Some schools that do not provide a tassel for graduates to keep may offer a souvenir tassel that is not worn with a regalia. In the UK, the tassel is shorter and is gathered at the button at the centre of the board. The US style is slightly longer, gathered at a cord attached to the button. At the University of Cambridge, undergraduates by ancient convention used to cut their tassels very short so that the tassel does not extend beyond the edge of the board. After they graduated, they wore the square cap with the tassel at the normal length. This convention has now fallen into disuse. Few people now wear headgear with academic dress at any time and undergraduates in particular have no need to wear the cap. Traditional wear. As with other forms of headdress, academic caps are not generally worn indoors by men, but are usually carried. In some graduation ceremonies caps have been dispensed with for men, being issued only to women, who do wear them indoors, or have been abandoned altogether. This has led to urban legends in a number of universities in the United Kingdom and Ireland which have as a common theme that idea that the wearing of the cap was abandoned in protest at the admission of women to the university. This story is told at the universities of Cambridge, Dublin, Durham and Newcastle, Bristol, St Andrews, and the Queen's University, Belfast among others. There are several types of mortarboard that are usually made. The most common in the UK is the folding skull in which the skull part can be folded for ease of storing and carrying. Traditionally, the mortarboards had a rigid skull which is considered more aesthetically pleasing and better fitting than a folding skull one. In addition, the rigid skull type has the advantage of being easier to doff than the folding skull version, as there is no possibility of the skull collapsing in on itself. Many degree ceremonies in British universities include the ritual doffing of caps. Both types require the wearer to wear the appropriate size to fit. In the US, an elasticated skull is mostly used which eliminates the need to make many mortarboards in different hat sizes. Some mortarboards, especially those in East Asia are laced up at the back of the skull cap. The correct way to wear a mortarboard is to have the larger part of the skull of the mortarboard at the back of the head with the top board parallel to the ground. A proper fitting mortarboard should not fall off easily. Until the second half of the 20th century, mortarboards were often worn by school teachers, and the hat remains an icon of the teaching profession. Mortarboards are often seen in party supply shops in the United States in May and June, when they appear in the form of party decorations on commemorative gifts such as teddy bears, and on congratulatory greeting cards. Equals morning cap equals, there is a version of the mortarboard that is worn during morning. Instead of a tassel and button on top of the board there are two black ribbons that are attached from corner to corner of the board forming a cross. At the center where the two ribbons intersect a black ribbon rosette is attached. The ribbon for the wide ribbons is gross grain ribbon whilst the rosette can be made of either the same gross grain or satin. This morning cap can be worn when mourning a personal friend or a family relative. Another version has nine ribbon bows called butterflies attached to the back of the skull cap in addition to the above. This cap is worn during the morning of the monarch, a member of the royal family or the university chancellor. The morning cap is worn with morning bands and a morning gown which is either a Cambridge DD undress gown with pudding sleeves, but in black stuff rather than silk is worn in the 16th-17th centuries or a plain black stuff gown. Hoods are not worn, as they are considered festal items. However, Cambridge proctors in the past wore their MA hood squared, so as to conceal the lining. Since the lining was white it did not clash with the black and white color scheme of mourning. See also, Academic Dress, Student Cap. Notes. References. External links.